In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who gave the priest St. John an outstanding dedication to perfect self-denial and love of the cross, grant that by imitating him closely at all times, we may come to contemplate eternally your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Numbers. When Balaam raised his eyes and saw Israel encamped, tribe by tribe, the Spirit of God came upon him, and he gave voice to his oracle. The utterance of Balaam, son of Beor, the utterance of a man whose eye is true, the utterance of one who hears what God says, and knows what the Most High knows, of one who sees what the Almighty sees, enraptured and with eyes unveiled. How goodly are your tents, O Jacob, your encampments, O Israel. They are like gardens beside a stream, like the cedars planted by the Lord. His wells shall yield free flowing waters. He shall have sea within reach. His king shall rise higher, and his royalty shall be exalted. Then Balan gave voice to his oracle, the utterance of Balaam, son of Beor, the utterance of the man whose eye is true, the utterance of one who hears what God says and knows what the Most High knows, of one who sees what the Almighty sees, enraptured and with eyes unveiled. I see him, though not now. I behold him, though not near. A star shall advance from Jacob, and a staff shall rise from Israel. The word of the Lord. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth, and teach me for you are God, my Savior. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from of old. In your kindness, remember me, because of your goodness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. The Lord be with you. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus came, had come into the temple area, the chief priests and the elders of the people approached him as he was teaching and said, by what authority are you doing these things? And who gave you this authority? Jesus said to them in reply, I shall ask you one question, and if you answer it for me, then I shall tell you by what authority I do these things. Where was John's baptism from? 
was it of heavenly or of human origin? They discussed this among themselves and said, if we say of heavenly origin, he will say to us, then why did you not believe him? But if we say of human origin, we fear the crowd, for they all regard John as a prophet. So they said to Jesus in reply, we do not know. He himself said to them, neither, neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Today we hear from the prophet Balaam. While not in the prophetic line of Isaiah or Jeremiah, he does have a vision. Again, he speaks of a star that will come from Jacob, a staff representing the leader that will rise from Israel. And these prophecies most likely applied to the rise of the house of David, though that can be seen as also foreshadowing of the rising of the star the Magi followed and the staff who would be Jesus. Again, he is an unlikely prophet, but he does proclaim these hopeful words about the coming of our Lord. We hear these prophetic words, I see him, though not now, or I behold him, though not near. In the gospel, the chief priests and the elders uh, challenge Jesus' own authority to preach on uh, behalf of God. Yet, when Jesus poses a question for them, they give no answer. In fear, they would, uh, in fear that they would anger the followers of John. So certainly a contrast to our first reading, when one not of Israel speaks of the coming Savior. I think these last days of Advent are a good time for all of us to kind of ponder uh, our God, uh, who works in wonderful and mysterious ways. Certainly it can be through the scripture, attendance at mass, even virtually and in quiet prayer, and even in unexpected ways, someone who may need our attention. And then listen uh, to that voice. And when we hear it, we can ask ourselves, how can we be God's messengers to those who need to hear the message of hope and joy. We are called to bring Christ's healing and saving love to all that we encounter. May all of God's blessings be with, uh, with all of us in this upcoming Christmas season. Let us pray. Having been nourished by the word of God, let us now bring to him our needs. For all who serve the church, may God continue to pour out his graces upon them, we pray to the Lord. For nations engaged in conflicts throughout the world, may Jesus, the Prince of Peace, bring them resol resol resolution, we pray to the Lord. For those who face economic uncertainty because of the pandemic, may God graciously look upon their needs and bring them relief and peace, we pray to the Lord. And for all of us here, may the Lord kindle in us a joyful hope for his second coming, we pray to the Lord. For our beloved dead, may they be welcomed into the heavenly kingdom, especially remembering Phyllis uh, Kazmarek, who died this past week, we pray to the Lord. And we pray for our own personal intentions and remember today Reverend Gregory Lestrange, for whom we offer this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Eternal Father, you gave us the example of St. John of the Cross to show us how to embrace our crosses while trusting you. With this in mind, we ask you to hear our prayers through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God our Father. <clears throat> Look upon the, the sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, in commemoration of St. John of the Cross, and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's Passion may imitate what we now enact through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For <clears throat> he assumed at his, at his first coming the loneliness of human flesh, and so fulfill the design you formed long ago and open for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise with which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Douglas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with uh, St. John of the Cross and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. And through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. <clears throat> is not into temptation, Deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. <clears throat> that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant, <clears throat> graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. So the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Pray. <clears throat> o God, who in St. John have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that, drawing strength from this sacrifice, <clears throat> we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. And have a good day, everyone.